Ketosis is a metabolic state where fat provides most of the fuel for the body instead of carbs. You can get into a state of ketosis by following a very low carb, high fat diet. Now in this video, I'm gonna have a look at whether that is a good idea. Ketosis involves our body producing ketone bodies from fat and using them as energy instead of carbs. It occurs when there is limited access to glucose in the blood, which is the preferred fuel source for many cells in the body. To go into ketosis, people generally need to eat fewer than 50 grams of carbs per day, and sometimes as little as 20 grams per day. Now this requires following a very low carb ketogenic diet. Um, it involves removing high carb foods from your diet, such as grains, candy, and sugar, sugary soft drinks. Um, you also have to cut back on legumes, potatoes, and fruit. Now, in saying that, ketosis can also happen unintentionally during um, pregnancy, infancy, fasting, and starvation. When eating a very low-carb diet, uh, levels of the hormone insulin go down and fatty acids are released from body fat stores in large amounts. Many of these fatty acids go to the liver where they're oxidized and turned into ketones or ketone bodies. Now, these molecules can be used as energy much in the same way as glucose. And it's from these ketones that the name ketogenic diet comes from. Ketones can supply energy for the brain. The big misconception with a ketogenic diet is that the brain doesn't function without any dietary carbs. It's true that glucose is preferred and there are some cells in the brain that can only use glucose as a fuel source. However, a large portion of your brain can also use ketones for energy, an adaptation that likely evolved so the brain could function during times of famine or starvation. In fact, after only three days of starvation, the brain gets 25% of its energy from ketones. Now, during long-term starvation, this number rises to around 60%. As for the small parts of the brain that still require glucose, the body can actually convert protein into glucose via a process known as gluconeogenesis. Now together, ketosis and gluconeogenesis are perfectly capable of fulfilling the brain's energy needs. Ketosis can help treat epilepsy. As for the positive effects, ketosis can help manage epilepsy, which is a common neurological condition characterized by recurring seizures. Now around 30% of patients continue to have seizures despite using anti-seizure medication. In the early 1920s, um, the ketogenic diet was introduced as a treatment for epilepsy in people who didn't respond to those drug treatments. Um, it has primarily been used in children with some studies showing remarkable benefits. Many epileptic children have had massive reductions in seizures on a ketogenic diet, and some have even seen complete remission. Ketosis can help with weight loss. The ketogenic diet is also a popular weight loss diet that is well supported by science. In fact, many studies have found that uh, ketogenic diets lead to far greater weight loss than low-fat diets. One randomized trial of 42 obese women reported 2.2 times more weight loss for those on a ketogenic diet compared to those on a low-fat, calorie-restricted diet. What's more, people tend to feel less hungry and more full on a ketogenic diet, which is attributed to ketosis. Now, for this reason, it is generally not necessary to count calories on this diet. Ketosis and ketogenic diets may also have other therapeutic effects as well. Uh, they're now being studied for things like uh, metabolic syndrome, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, um, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, even cancer. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to what all the fantastic researchers might discover. Now, there are also uh, a few potential negative side effects from ketosis and following a ketogenic diet um, that you ought to be aware of. This includes side effects such as headache, fatigue, constipation, high cholesterol levels, and bad breath. However, most of the symptoms are temporary and should disappear within a few days or weeks. Um, it's a good idea to make sure to eat plenty of high fiber, low carb vegetables because um, a ketogenic diet can be low in fiber. People who are taking blood sugar lowering drugs should consult with a doctor before trying a ketogenic diet um, because a diet may reduce the need for medication, um, also, some epileptic children have developed kidney stones on the diet. All that being said, ketosis is generally safe for healthy people, but it will not suit everyone. Some people may feel great and full of energy, while others may just feel really miserable. Additionally, the elephant in the room is that following such a strict diet to induce ketosis uh, is extremely difficult, especially for um, social situations or eating out because it is just so seriously restrictive. In that sense, unless it's for medical purposes, the majority of people just don't stick to it that long. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the big red button below so you don't miss out on our other videos.